The South Korean economy is stable enough to fight off geopolitical risks stemming from provocations from up north. That's according to Finance Minister of the Nation, who assured the government will closely monitor the situation. Plus, there are plans to unveil a series of measures aimed at boosting innovative growth and supporting small and mid sized firms. Kim Ji-yeon shares with us the finance chief's remarks. Speaking at an economic meeting held Thursday, Finance Minister Kim dong yeon said the South Korean economy has strong fundamentals to withstand geopolitical risks posed by North Korean missile and nuclear provocations. Although Pyongyang's threats may have spooked foreign investors to sell South Korean stocks, Kim said the economic impact from such geopolitical risks will be temporary when taking into account South Korea's record high foreign exchange reserves of 384.8 billion U.S. dollars and superb credit ratings. South Korea's exports in September is expected to have risen for the 11th consecutive month by a margin of more than 20 percent, and facility investment has recorded double-digit growth for nine months in a row. Despite the reassurances, Kim said local financial authorities will closely monitor foreign markets even during the Chuseok Korean Thanksgiving holiday to respond immediately when necessary. The finance minister said the government will unveil a comprehensive set of measures next month to revitalize the country's venture capital firms and to strengthen competitiveness of local industries. The minister also said the government will announce a separate set of measures to boost small and medium-sized companies by the end of this year. He also said the government will inject an additional $1.6 billion to promote job creation. Kim Jian, Arirang News.